I rise today in support of my bipartisan amendment to prohibit implementation of the EPA rule that inappropriately reclassified three West Michigan counties, Berrien County, parts of Allegan County, and parts of Muskegon County from, quote, marginal to, quote, moderate under the 2015 Ozone National Ambient Air Quality Standards. However, it is long established fact that transport pollution from upwind states that is a primary driver of the re, uh, reduced air quality in West Michigan. In fact, Mr. Chair, I was a young staffer in 1997 when I became the district director for my predecessor when I was first uh, introduced to this concept. And we'll get into some of those issues, same issues that we're seeing today. So even the state of Michigan officially acknowledges this fact. Ozone transport is the major driver of why these counties in Michigan get penalized by the EPA's standards. While the EPA's rule explicitly does not reconsider ozone transport, science will tell you that ozone pollutants are being carried to us on winds across Lake Michigan from cities like Gary, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The new, quote, moderate classification uh, carries with it the so-called reasonably available control technology requirements, as well as other burdensome regulatory requirements, offset ratios, and emission reductions meant to bring the Michigan counties back into attainment of the air standards, not the counties that are actually doing the polluting. This will cost businesses in my district millions and millions of dollars, despite their many efforts over the years to do the right thing for the environment. It will cost jobs for our residents who have nothing to do with this. They haven't produced it, but it's going to cost the tax base of our local governments who love and work to protect our Great Lakes. My Michigan colleagues and I have worked oftentimes in a bipartisan way to rectify this issue, whether it be with the EPA or with the state of Michigan. But, in short, we're told that their hands are tied. Well, that's what the legislative branch is for, and we're using our legislative authority, the power of the purse, to protect our constituents from the unfair burden, uh, government burden that does not account for the full reality and science of the situation. Communities along the lakeshore of West Michigan should not be penalized for the pollution carried and po created by cities 90 miles away on the other side of Lake Michigan. Here's how crazy this plan is, Mr. Chairman. My hometown of Holland, Michigan, sits on a county border. Ottawa County to the north, Allegan County to the south. It's divided by 32nd Street. If you are a business on the south side of 32nd Street in Allegan County, you are subject to the penalties. But if you are a, 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 a company directly across the street in Ottawa County, you are exempt. This makes no sense. And ultimately, my understanding is the state of Michigan then could be responsible for the end implementation of, emission, of these emission reductions. Therefore, the practical effect of the, my amendment would be to make it so that Michigan can decide whether to enforce the ozone standards of the new moderate levels or the previous marginal levels. So, Mr. Chairman, I am one of the Republican co-chairs of the Great Lakes Task Force. I'm a member of the Conservative Climate Caucus. My constituents and I want nothing more than clean air and water in our Michigan communities, but we demand common sense as well. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I reserve the balance of my time.